This is not real. They did not write on the card and call it near mint. <laughs> In today's video, we got back my $1,000 that Twitch chat's been on TCG Player. YouTube, in the chat, let's go. Let's get back our $1,000 cards. This is the first one. This is from, I think his name is Ken, and he said he sent us some extra stuff. So let's open this up. We got some giant bubble wrap. If you guys are watching on YouTube, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think of our purchases and how the conditions turned out. You can win this Droll and Lockbird that was sent to us by a TCG player seller. So it's a perfect giveaway, fits in the situation perfectly. You guys can win this Droll and Lockbird. So there we go. Thank you, Ruxin Chat, for purchase. Yeah, Ruxin Chat. Chat, you already got shouted out from TCG uh, player. Ruxin Any issues, contact me. Lambs a lot. Yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure I've interacted with this dude on... Uh, Instagram a few times too. So when I saw his name, I was like, okay, I know this guy. Okay, these are these weird top loaders. They're like uh, they're like cardboard. I don't really know the best way to open them because I've never used them. I guess we just go like this. You gotta be really careful though. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Look how he did it. He did this. Okay, strategy. I like it. Now let's not cut anything. All right, then he's got a pull tab. All right, there's our rising energy. Okay, front is pretty nice. So the back is where it's really gonna tell the tale. Front looks really good, actually. A little bit of whitening there, not too big of a deal. I kind of expected on some of these ultis in the old sets, maybe a little whitening there, but not too bad. Back is honestly pretty clean on this. I don't have crazy lighting going right now because I don't want to get hot during the stream, but this doesn't look bad at all. Like for TCG player, you know, near mint, what do you, what you expect? I would consider this pretty near mint. Solid, solid card there. I'm not upset with that at all. There's, a, I mean, it's not perfect. It's not mint, but it's not bad. So we can handle that. We got some bonus investments he sent us. What could this be? Okay, upgrade. Well, what is happening? Wait, what? what is happening? Upgrade copium vote redemption? What does this mean? Is this something we're supposed to do? Wait, before I open this. Upgrade, copium, vote redemption. What what is what does this mean? Are we just supposed to open these and see what they are? Or are we supposed to like I mean, what does the vote mean? What are we voting for? Maybe you have to vote for the three. Okay, how about this? Whatever you guys vote for, the winner of this one, if it's a better investment, you can swap it with this rising energy because we paid way too much. We paid $14 for this rising energy. If we decide we get a good one, we want to swap it out, we can do it. Copium is the winner. 150 total votes. First of all, no, you know, how about this? We'll reveal the two that you guys did not vote for first and see which one you guys missed out on. Here we go. Oh, so look, we didn't go for the engage, right? And then he sent us an engage. So it looks like he watched our, our whole, uh, our whole video or he might have watched the stream actually we like looked at the uh at the engage these are the mama versions though so they are the cheaper ones but i think that was a good decision we'd probably rather have well maybe not i don't know it depends on if the mama ones go up because they are kind of like penny stonks right now not too bad i mean that's that's not bad next one upgrade let's see about this this 10k uh or this 1k purchase oh uh, ruxin droll and lockbird collector rare huh you guys missed out! You should have picked the upgrade! Isn't this like money? <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't know why he sent us such an expensive card. Oh my goodness, go check out his TCG player store, I guess, guys. Because this is, isn't this like 50 plus dollars, 60 even? I think it was like 100 at the time of release, but I don't think it's that much anymore. Wow, big mistake, chat. Big mistake. Copium? Like, were you right? Did you make the right decision? It's going to be hard to beat a Droll Lockbird. I can't believe it's only 36 bucks now. That's wild. Still an amazing card, though. Here it is, the Copium. This, it, it's going to be a Pecanio Moth. Oh, Fiber Jar. Okay, it's not as expensive, but this is an old card. Now we have to decide, guys. Do you like Fiber Jar or Rising Energy more? Which one would you guys prefer for our investment? Uh, it seems that the Fiber Jar has overtaken... The rising energy. We decided to swap these. So rising energy, you've been booted. Fiber jar, you are now in. You've been accepted into the cool kids club. Next, that's only the first package. We've got like 20 packages. These will be a lot faster though, because there's like envelopes. So we got envelope right here. Okay, there's some cards and a note. Okay, no invoice. Wait, this might not be a TCG player either. Maybe it is. Okay, this says the name is Therium Cards. Uh, what is this? Hello? Re regress what does it say can we read this i'm so confused right now that means return in spanish okay so it's a spanish guy okay all right let's go here pull these out there's no invoice so i don't know what's going on here we have 
Night beams! Two of our night beams! All right, night beams, here we go. Okay, let's check this out. Not bad, not bad. I mean, a little scuffing, a little bit of a scratch there in the middle. It's really not that bad though. I mean, it's not perfect. It looks okay. You could maybe be like, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of scratching in there. It's not too bad though. Oh, we got some we got some edgeware on this one, unfortunately. Uh, definitely edgeware. Back has definitely some scratches on it. I mean, I would I would be selling this at light play. Not terrible, but a little LP there, a little light play action. So I'll, I'll, uh, we might have to return that second one. I don't know. We'll have to decide later. Okay, the next one is in-house games. So in-house games, they got some serious packaging here. Really taped. Yeah. <laughs> It's so hard. I, like, what is this? I think it is tape. He taped it like at the top like that. Okay. Yeah, they don't they don't take into account that you like have to get it back open. Like if we were just sealing the card and like sealing it away like the seal of Oricalcos or something, this would be great. But oh, okay, we got it out. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Here we go. Oh, Pequeno Moth. He literally sealed two common Pequeno Moth like that. I mean, he had some respect for the card. He respected the goat of cards. The Bacanio Moth. You know, I thought this was going to be a ghost rare the way he, he packaged that, which it should be a ghost rare. Honestly, it should be a ghost rare. It deserves it. Next package. This is from Mystic TCG. Okay, then he's got the cardboard. I don't see why people don't just use top loaders like instead of these. It'd just be a lot easier, I think. Maybe they're cheaper or something. I don't know. Another Night Beam. Okay, let's check this Night Beam. How's it look? It is... Ooh. Why are all the night beams so scuffed up on the back? That's some serious scratching right there. Personally, I'd sell this as LP. So it's like, this is where I have to decide. Do I can just go with TCG player near mint and just accept it that it's TCG player near mint? Like personally, I would not want to sell this many scratches as near mint as the highest that you can sell, you know? It's like, am I going to deal with all the returns? Maybe, who knows? Okay, this is from Dabber's Gaming Cafe. Oh, it's more night beams. Okay, more night beams. Okay, first night beam. This one actually looks pretty minty on the front. A little bit of stuff on the bottom, but not too bad. Now, this is what we're looking for. This is like minty almost. Now, we have no complaints about that one. I mean, there's like slight, slight scuffing, but that's near mint plus for me. I mean, we're taking that night beam. So far, good start. Let's see if their second one lives up to it. Okay. Okay, a little bit more scuffing on this one, but honestly, I'm still at near mint on these. So good purchase from Dabbers. Definitely good. I'll take both of those from near mint for sure. Next one, Quattro cards. This is our roses. Uh, how do we, I do not like when people, this, if you ever do packaging, I don't like this. I don't like when you tape the card in a sleeve because like, then if you pull on it, it's like pulling on the card. It's just, it's not good. It's not a good way to do it. I would not recommend. So I'm gonna do this very carefully under the sleeve. So you kind of have to use a knife and you never want to have to use a knife next to a card. It's just not great. This is this is scary. OK, we got it out. Let's check the card condition. Packaging, as long as it gets you. Oh, uh, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great for a newer card. I thought it would be just super minty, but it's it's not awesome. I don't think one dollar cards we're going to worry about returning. We're just going to assume they're near mint. Uh, that now I would put LP, but uh, we're just going to go with that. Next envelope. Who is it? Big City Cards. OK, so this one is our p oh, Petite Moth. Speaking of one card per sleeve, <laughs> one top loader with seven cards. Now, this is something I never do. The most I put into a top loader is two cards, because then when the top loader starts bending to me, like if it's bending out, then that is a sign that it's putting pressure on the cards and you know, hurting the condition. So if it's doing like this, then I'm going to stop. So I put two. You can easily fit two Yu-Gi-Oh cards into one top loader with no damage. They fit in perfectly. You really don't want to put one card. This is another reason I double sleeve. You put one card in by itself, it can move around. So you either put two cards or you double sleeve. That's the way I do it. OK, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got different versions here. You can tell uh, seven Pequeno Moss. That has a scratch right on the back. Great. That is wow. Nice and near mint there, huh? Near Mint. TCG player Near Mint at it again. TCG player Near Mint at it again. TCG player Near Mint at it again. What in the world? Come on, this is just disrespectful. Big city cards. Come on, man. You know this ain't Near Mint. Okay, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they didn't look. Okay, maybe they just maybe they just overlooked it. But if you looked at this card and you told me, you know what, Near Mint? That's just messed up. Not a great performance there from Big City Cards. Uh, not trying to like, you know, hate on anybody or anything. It's only one order. You know, it could be different. I don't want anybody to like never buy from them or anything because of this. But I do think 
you should probably check them. I know this was not a big order. This is a $5 order, so it's not a huge deal. We're not going to return these because it's petite moth, you know, but a little unfortunate with the conditions on that one. No big deal. That was a meme purchase anyway. Who's this from? Oh, this is the fiber jar, I think. This is from No Name. Okay, this packaging here right here is why we use the team bags and the double sleeves. This just came out of the package like this. So that's not awesome. Hopefully nothing was dinged. Gotta be really careful because it's not the ideal way of taking it out. So this is why my packaging, this is why the way I do it. Okay, we got the to the sleeve. Okay, TCG player added again. Uh, we got a Pokemon sleeve. That's not the, the correct size. You Okay, maybe a little bit of a bend there. Might be a bend. Anything on the surface actually looks pretty good, surprisingly. This is not real. They did not write on the card and call it near mint. What in the world are we watching? Dude. Dude. You sold a $30 card near mint and there's a star written on the back and marker? Dude. Okay, is this ironic or what? The copium card had the same card. How did they know we needed this? Copium is real. Oh my gosh. What on earth, dude? You can't sell a card with marker written on it. Near mint. Like if this was damaged, that's one thing. Near mint. Well, we have one that we have to return. 100%. We have to return this. You are not getting away with this, sir. This is why there's no name on the envelope. They didn't put a name on the envelope. All right, we're looking this up. Who was this? Who did it? Raise your hand. If you're in the chat right now, I'm disappointed in you. Th this is the one that people told me. This is the seller. This seller has over 50,000 completed sales. Can you believe that? 50,000. And they are selling cards with markered stars on the back as in your mint. Here's what I will say before I reveal who it was, because there is something to, you know, saying something about people, it being a bad situation. Maybe they overlooked it. If they have 50,000 sales, I'm guessing they have employees. So maybe the employee missed it. So I'll say that, but you gotta tell your employees, you can't be, you can't have, you can't have marker on the back of your card. This is from the card stand. I bought from them and someone commented, I think it was on the video and they said, oh no, you bought from the card stand. And it looks like they were right. Okay, all right, on to the next one. This one's from Peter. He has, he has an actual like name. So this might just be like an individual guy. All right, Nightbeam. This is marked as 20 bucks. We didn't pay that much. This was maybe, maybe this guy does have a shop or something and he added up for 20 or something. We've got the ultimate rare. Oh, Peter. Talk about a minty looking card. Shout out to Peter. I guess I can say his name because it is his, his store name. So it's like, I guess you would want that. Shout out to Peter, man. That is an awesome, clean looking card. One of the best looking cards we've seen yet. Peter, well done. That's definitely better than a star on the back of our card. I'll say that. Okay, next we have YGO Cards TCG. Pull our card out real quick. We've got another Night Beam. Okay, let's pull this out. A little sticky sleeve here. Feels like, uh, what can we see on the front? Uh-oh, we got a dinged corner right there. Dinged corner right off the bat. Okay, maybe not. Back's, back's actually clean. It is slightly dinged, but on, eh, that sucks. It is bent. The rest of the card's clean, but there is a little damage there. But you know what? If that's it, I mean, I would, I would with a little corner ding like that, I'd have light play. This might be one that we're just going to overlook and be like, sure, that's fine. It's near mint, whatever. That's all right. That wasn't too bad. This one doesn't have a name on it. Last time that happened, we had a star on the back of our card. It's okay. It's just the Pecanio Moth. Will it be better than the ones that were all like written on his stuff? Gosh. Okay, where's the envelope? Yeah, I mean, I'm not returning this anyway, but man, buying these common cards near men on TCG player, nightmare, dude, nightmare. That thing is disgusting right there. I'm sorry, Pequeno, that you were treated that way. It's okay, it's our meme purchase anyway. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wonder up next. Oh, okay, the Boxia Ultimate Rare. I'm a little nervous because this is more of a higher end one. I don't like doing tape like this. It's not the worst thing you can do, but it's not my favorite. I used to do this, so I can't, it's not terrible if you double sleeve. But the problem is when you don't double sleeve, it can fall out of the sleeve and then hit the tape and damage it like that. So you really don't want to do that. Boxia, ultimate rare, front looks. Okay, that was just a whisker. I thought that was a bend or something at first. Ooh, okay, a little bit of a line there. I think that probably is print, that line coming down. I've seen that out of the pack, so that's not too bad. This is, I think, 
okay. I think this is not like mint or anything, but I think it's possible it came out of the pack like that. Duelist Alliance, Ultimate Rare. I think that looks fine. For an older, somewhat of an older card, like eight years old, this looks fine. So I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Wonder was, was fine saying that was near mint. That's not a big deal. So we'll take that. Not bad. TCGview.com from Richard. Here's another Pecanio Moth. Come on back. Be nice. Front looks good. I mean, compared to the other ones, it's not that bad, but it does have some scuffing on it. Uh, this is an MRDE in though. The rare variant. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, with all the ones we've seen, I'm I'm becoming a little desensitized to how good it is. It's it's fine. It's like light play VLP, something like that. Okay, this guy's name is Pogi Magic. So Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh Magic. Pretty cool name. I'm mean, very, very nice. You got all three in there. Pogi Magic. Let's see what you did. See, I just do not like this packaging because it's difficult. It's it's good because like I think he's got it in here with a team bag too. It's actually really good packaging. If it's like a really nice card, but if it's like a $20 card, I think it's a little excessive, you know? Like, so let, let's see what card it was. Okay, so he did this for like a $4 card. So it's like, respect the hustle. I think it's a little overboard. But look, if the card comes minty, I can't complain, you know? And as long as I can open it safely, there's nothing to complain about. Honestly, it's great packaging. Like, he has like five different layers, you know? Really not, not a lot to complain about. I mean, he's even got doubled here. He's, he's tamed there. He's got that there. The back is looking maybe nice so far. Dang, this is nice, dude. I mean, there's slight scuffing, but wow, that is an old ulti. That looks amazing. Okay. Pogi Magic. Shout out to that guy. Pogi Magic. That's one of the best looking cards we've gotten yet. Still have a ton of envelopes left. <laughs> We're, we've got a while to go. Uh, I've got the big one. I'm saving the big ones for last, so we'll see. what. Oh, wait. Who's this from? YuGioGaming.com. Okay. There, it's Pecanio Moth again. This one is another MRDEN. Nice. Oh, a little bit of stuff back there. Probably not near mint, but, you know, close enough with what we've seen on those Pecanios. The commons are apparently the hardest ones to actually, you know, get nice. Okay, next one. Fantastic Pop. Rising Energy. Oh, no! Oh, no! He's got a fingernail in it! Our first bad one in a while. Oh, no. I mean, the rest of the card looks good. It's such a shame. Yeah, that, I mean, you can't go near mint on that. That's... I mean, I, mod play automatically, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll return that one, unfortunately. Next up, low P rices. <laughs> so low prices, but it's separated in a weird spot. That's actually kind of a funny name. Okay, we got more roses here. So these are our, more of our roses. So we did buy more. It just seems like it was a different seller. Sky Striker Ace Rose added again. We've got Clean Rose. There we go. Better than the other one we got earlier. Back looks pretty good on this one. Those both look pretty minty. Nice looking cards for the Rose. Moving on to the next one. We've got Sloppy Turkey. Let's see how this one looks. This looks like a reprint, so absolutely do not do that. Yeah, that, that is a bad idea. Okay, that is near mint because that is a brand new card. It's a uh, reprint. I'm joking. Okay. I'm glad to hear that because I was worried for a second. Some people actually think you can do that though. So you have to, you have to cut that down or people are like, what? Really? I can clean my cards. I can do that. All right. We got a TCG player direct order. Time to see how this goes. Here we go. So here's the no top loaders. That seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, yeah. Okay. That makes me not want to use TCG player direct if they're going to sell my cards like that. Not going to lie. Don't love that. We've got clean. That looks great. So the card's nice. Didn't get damaged. That's good. I mean, these look minty. They are new cards. So unless they got like damage in transit, which with no toppler, good chance. Looks like these cards are nice. So that's good. All right. It turned out fine. I guess I can't question it. It turned out fine. Uh, Cow's house. Night beams. We are not done. We are not done with the night beams. Okay. Night beams. We've got a lot of them here. First off, we have pretty nice. They're all in the same sleeve. I never love to see that, but sometimes that happens. Slight scratching, but not bad. That's that's fine. Near mint. How are we looking? Uh, overall, okay. We've had a couple of uh, nightmare Ruxin scenarios. 34. That is very scratched up. That is definitely LP at best. So one near mint, one LP for Cow's House. And then a lot of the night beams came LP. I mean, a decent amount that that's like in the middle of the two. Probably wouldn't return that one. But yeah, so we got another LP. Yeah, you know. You know, it's whatever. I've accepted at this point. Okay, everything left is not an envelope. So now we're on to like, you know, nice stuff potentially. Open this. Wait, this is from Turtle Rock Gaming. Inside, what do we buy? It's like these, uh, they've got these shipping shields, which some people like. I don't know if I like them or not. I haven't used them much. Okay, this is our, uh, our Ash Blossoms. I think we bought six of these, right? Are they all from the same seller? Secret Rare. Looks pretty good. Sleeve it up. So, I mean, for on average, I think for the most part, we have decent conditions. We do have several instances where it's not good, though. But 
That's good. It's just the majorly bad ones that really stick out. So third copy. This is new, so it should be in decent condition, right? All these seem pretty clean. So, so far, a great purchase. I don't remember who this was, but good purchase so far. Only one left is nice as well. Okay, so all the ashes looked good. That's that's good. All six from the same person. Okay, next it says, please don't bend. Okay, this is from FT Campa Collectibles. So let's see. Uh, okay, here are cards. Oh, there's the uh, Catastrophe. That might be the only card we bought from this guy. Do we buy multiples? I mean, we 34? bought one Catastrophe, but we might've bought other things. It was just a Catastrophe. Okay, so he basically did what I do. Same packaging. He did triple top loader. He did double sleeve. He did card or uh, team bag. Big fan of the packaging. He also taped down the, the cards here, which I, I don't know if you need to do that, but a couple extra top loaders there. That's not bad. And then, okay, he double sleeved. He also did the tape as well. So he went extra hard. Not bad. I like that packaging. Well done. Got to be careful with these to get them out. Nice and slow. Ultimate rare is good. And the back's good. Oh, I, I just realized we don't have any music on this whole time, have we? We should probably turn some on. Should we turn some music on? Crispy Collectibles up next. I remember we got something decent from Crispy Collectibles, I think. Didn't we? Crispy himself? Uh, I don't I don't really know Christy, Crispy, but uh, Christy or Crispy. Huh? Why is there a... Dark Vile Plume? P.S. It's stuck to the top loader. Dark Vile Plume. Minimum grade. Okay. I don't see the point of that, but okay. Instant Fusion. This is the one where you guys made me buy this, even though you knew I didn't need this. Okay, there's his uh, little business card too. Let's check it out. We've had some weird orders today. That's for sure. Let's see if it's near mint. Front looks good. Good start. Back looks... Oh, no. Oh, that's just the artwork. Okay, good. That's just the artwork coming through. I thought that was a cut in it. All right. Minty AF. Really nice. Beautiful instant fusion. Okay. Crispy collectibles. Shout out to them. That was a nice purchase. So far, the people in the bubble mailers have been killing it. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Next up, Simply Unlucky Games. The man himself. Simply Unlucky. Let's see what Simply sent us. <laughs> he has whatnot top loaders. <laughs> okay. 23 gate guardians. You guys voted for all of them. Are these all in one sleeve somehow? How do you fit 23 cards in one sleeve? It's impressive. I'm not gonna lie. So all of these, they're probably brand new. Just check the backs. I mean, they look, they look fine. I mean, this stuff on the back is just how they come out. They're a little bit glossy. So they got a little extra something going on. So it looks like the gate guardians are fine. That's a plus. I'm gonna have to sleeve these up later. All right, a few left. Our next one is Prodigy Games. So we got Prodigy Games coming up. We have Yazi Evil the Yang Zing. Front looks good. Back looks pretty good. Little print line down there. No big deal. That's fine. That looks like a nice card. That is a nice looking card. We'll take that. Now, Dad, it's a pretty new card, so it shouldn't be too bad, right? Is that card bent? Okay, there's the back scuffing. That that's natural. Is card bent? I can't tell. Eh, it's not too bad. Whatever it is, it's it's fine. All right, next up, George in. So we've got two cards in the same sleeve and high-end cards. You don't really love to see that. Battle Fader is nice on the front. Pretty clean. I mean, a little scratch on the back. It's not too bad. I don't think that's anything that I would freak out about. All right, then we've got the Colossal Fighter. Front looks good back it got a little it, it looks like a dent there but that's just from the artwork actually pretty minty these cards actually look good colossal fighter is good okay we got another one this one's from i just cut it open it's from uh galaxy buster tcg it is a pot of desires ultimate rare i forgot we bought this yeah because we were thinking maybe it came back to three could help out is this going to be near mint ultimate rare pot of desires looks great looks awesome actually Great packaging, really nice condition on the card. Pot of Desires is looking fresh for us, not bad. Two left, Top Table Gaming. Oh, our Trap Tricks! Yes, I forgot about our Trap Tricks. Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. Back, uh, scratchy, probably, oh, I dropped it. That doesn't help, that's probably LP, but you know, it is what it is, you know? Okay, that one didn't look great. This one looks much better. A little bit of scuffing in the middle. Okay, two more of these. Those, one looked okay, one lo didn't. Um, this is why I don't put a bunch of cards in the same top loaders. You can't get them out. I can't get this out. Can I break this top loader? Sometimes you can pop it. Ugh. 
That's a that's the dangerous way. I don't think that was a good idea. Okay, this is definitely getting sketch. I don't know how to do this. The best way to do this is okay. Let's see if I can get the bottom card. Oh, okay, we got it. Okay, I don't think I damaged anything somehow. Front looks good. Back looks clean on this one. Really clean. That's a super nice one. Clean back. Wait, has it got something on the back? A little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so other than that one, these are pretty clean. One left. Last card. It is in a top loader. They also have a little, they have their own like little magazine thing going on here. Cool. Okay. The rescue rabbit. I forgot about the rescue rabbit. Hey, look, this is packed exactly how I packed mine. Literally the exact same way. Other than the, they didn't double save the rescue, the rescue rabbit. That's it. Rescue rabbit. Let's go. That looks pretty clean. Uh, Ruxin 34. Rescue Rabbit. Okay, so for the most part, most of our cards looked pretty good in the TCG player stuff. Some were a little iffy, but most of them looked pretty good. Overall decent. I mean, the star really took the cake for being the worst. I mean, that was awful. There was a few cards that were moderately played. We didn't have anything like, there were no creases the entire time, no creases. That's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. So I will take that. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Truster Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.